I recently bought a new digital microscope, the Tomlov 8.5 inch digital microscope off of Amazon, and I decided to christen it by soldering a tiny MOSFET onto one of my oscillator boards. In this picture, you can see the MOSFET on the left already soldered on. On the right, you can see my soldering iron with the sharpest tip I have available and the thinnest solder I have on hand. I started by dumping just one MOSFET onto the board, but it fell out of frame. Unfortunately, it landed upside down. I've found that just dropping these tiny parts back onto the board is the best way to get them to land right side up. You can use the tweezers to carefully flip them over, but half the time when I do that, they end up upside down anyways. Next, I very carefully nudge the part into place to make sure it's going to fit right. This is the first time I've been able to look at this part so closely while soldering it. I'm sure my other boards have relatively huge globs of solder on them holding these down, but they do seem to work, so... I started by soldering down the easiest pin to get to. I could do the bottom right pin, but since it's hooked up to that big plane of copper, the top one will heat up easier. All I want here is for the part to be positioned correctly. I don't expect the solder joint to be good yet. I had a pretty rough time with getting the solder to melt on the pin here. Part of the issue is that I had bent the solder and it wasn't so easy to maneuver into place. I came back and bent the solder to arch in better and then I was able to get it in place. It still didn't stick all that well, so I moved on to the other pad, at which point I accidentally soldered down the first pin with the extra solder on the iron, and I decided it would be easier if I just came back with flux later to fix the joints. What I'm using to put the flux on here is a 22 gauge wire that I usually would use for breadboarding. Sometimes when I'm looking through the microscope, I forget how small these parts are that I'm soldering. All I have to do after that is reheat each joint to let the flux do its job, and then I'll come back and clean it. I use a little bit of alcohol to clean off the flux, and then I use the other end of the Q-tip to dry it off. And that's it. There's only one thing that I don't really like about this microscope so far, and that's that it records in the .avi format. My video editing software doesn't like the AVI format, so that means I have to go through and convert every video that comes out of it. That's kind of unfortunate, but really for the price, I think it does a great job. Thanks for watching.